Very, very light moment. Well, NBC revisits one of its major annual events tonight, Red Nose Day. It's a one night event to raise funds to assist children living in poverty all around the world. Here's a preview. It's Red Nose Day! NBC celebrates five years of red rubber noses tonight. Be an everyday hero. Five years as the centerpiece of relief efforts to lift kids out of poverty. It helps kids everywhere, not just in America, but all over the world. Welcome back. Terry Crews hosts tonight's fundraiser, which enlists big names. You're backing some incredibly effective programs. And all-star performers to bring in donations. I want all of you at home to be on your phones. Guys, are you ready? Listen. There's also a special Red Nose edition of Hollywood Game Night. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh. What's wonderful about Red Nose Day is, is how uh, successful they are. $150 million over the last four years. Funds that answer a need one of NBC's biggest stars saw close up in Kenya. And at the same time, they scavenged for food stuff, chemicals from the factory. His visit, one of several vignettes airing tonight. I know I'm changed by being here and seeing it. And I hope others are just by seeing the film that we put together. It's a serious message driven home amidst serious fun. Every year it's new, every year it's different, and every year we just want to make as much money as we can. With that in mind, Red Nose creator Richard Curtis reunited the cast of his romantic comedy, Four Weddings and a Funeral, for a mini sequel tonight. I got an email and I answered right away and said, yes, I'd love to do this. Red Nose organizers hope potential donors say the same thing. Oh, you know you want to get in on the Red Nose action. If you are looking for a Red Nose, FYI, they are available to buy at Walgreens. Five versions available this year. There's a sparkly one. I like this one. You can also Alex Rodriguez Roig, as well as their 2019 Youth of the Year, Tatiana. Uh, and Tatiana, I want to get to you in just a, uh, just a little bit. But first, Alex, let's talk about, because we see these Red Noses. Yes. W where is this money going? How is it really helping? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. A lot of people ask that. The, the money that's being raised here nationally is actually going to several different organizations. Boys and Girls Clubs of America is one of them. Eventually, we get some of it as well here. We can have fun with it. And Tatiana, you experienced this firsthand. You got involved first with the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade when you were 15 years old. What was that moment like where you're kind of like, okay, you know what, let me check this out? At first, I was really reluctant about joining the program. I was really scared because I had no idea. I had no clue of your life. And can yes. we have some examples? Extremely. So my grades before, I wasn't really focused in school. Any school activities, I try to get involved just as much. And you are graduating very yes, soon. June third. How does the future look different for you now because of the Boys and Girls Club? Now I'm really focused on the future. Since before I even joined the program, I wasn't really, I didn't have an idea. A place for safe place for kids that they can grow and learn and, and blossom like she's doing. And she speaks for herself. And I love it because she's up here. She is confident. She is not scared. Days in California.